Alrighty, so today we're going to get started with the RPCS3 emulator, which is a PS3 emulator, PlayStation 3. It can play, obviously, PS3 games and PlayStation Network games, or PSM for short. Let's go over to the website here, and uh, you can see it's called RPCS3.net. Links will be in description below. Navigate over to download here, which is uh, just downloads at the top. And uh, here you just pull whichever one you want. So we're going to pull this one, the uh, Windows version, because that's the one I have. And hopefully it'll be a very quick download for us. Also, navigate over to, uh, well, you can basically just go to Google and type in PS3 firmware. And you're looking for this page here. And it looks like PlayStation.com and it says ENAU for me, but I'll put that link in the description below for you guys. But basically, you're just looking for a software update that says, uh, this as of this recording, says 4.90. And you go down here and it should be, I believe, in here. So if you do pick update using a computer, download PS3 update, click that. It will tell you it's a harmful, might tell you it's a harmful file, but it's not. So it should look like it says uh, PS3 update.pub. So that needs to, be, uh, needs to be said. So it's a little bit of a larger file. It says it's gonna take a little bit to download, so we'll wait for that to happen. Go to your downloads folder and uh, grab these two. Just bring them to the desktop. All right, now we're gonna create a new folder. And we're just going to call it, you can call it whatever you want, but I call it RPCS3. And we're just going to drag everything in there. And then in here, you're just going to right click on the zip file. Extract here. There you go, there's all the files. And now you've also got your PS3 update.pup, so we'll show you how to install that as well, because you actually cannot play any games unless uh, you install that. Alright, so now double click on the little icon that said RPCS3. And uh, just click both these boxes, tick them both, it's fine. Now you should get this screen, and uh, you can actually edit the themes and all that, but we might cover that in a different video. All right, now you go over to File, and now you pick Install Firmware, and we're gonna go find our folder, which should be here. So you're looking for the ps 3 updatepup You pick that, you open it, it'll take a second, and congrats, it says it installed, and now it looks like it's having some fun. It's going to take a little bit of time, so just let it do its thing. Alright, so now you're pretty much ready to get set up with games, but before we do that, we're going to go into pads at the top here. And you can see, you can configure your pad, you can also configure up to seven players, which is pretty cool. And if you go here to handlers, you can pick your joystick. I have an X input, so I have an Xbox One controller. And it will generally read everything correctly, it will usually fill this out automatically, but if you want to change anything, feel free to do that. It's not really hard, you know, you can figure this out. You just click on it and then you just basically press what you want the button to be. So R2, I want that to be my right trigger. Alright, so we also do have uh, another menu here which I'm not going to cover right now, but this is called RPCN. This is if you want to play games online. If you want to see something like that, let me know in the comments below. All right, so now you've got your emulator. How do you install games? And uh, I can't help you with where you get games. So, you know, that's that's your own department. But for anything that is a digital game, like a PSN game. Uh, so basically, I've got Street Fighter 3 Online Edition. And you can see here, I've got a couple files here. And they're all in very jumbled and, you know, they say .pkgs. And uh, this is all just fun stuff that you need. You need .wraps. They're like unlock keys. And the PKGs are actually the files for the game. So they're kind of long, but don't worry about that. So what you're going to do is go to File, Install Packages, Wraps, EDATS. You're going to find that folder. And then you're just going to do this. You're going to pick them all at the same time. Click OK. And now it's going to say to you, oh, OK, it's got a bunch of random stuff here. And uh, yeah, and now you just click Install. So make sure everything's ticked. And then you can add shortcuts if you want to, but I don't. And yeah, there you go. It'll also give you this interface, but don't worry about that. This is actually something at the time of uh, this version they're experimenting with, and they actually got working, the original uh, X and B menu. Inside the RPCS3 folder, there's a games folder here. This will be for where you can put disc games. So if you have a folder that's actually a, a disc game and not a PSN game, uh, you can put them in here. And then what should happen, unfortunately, I don't have a disc game on me right now to test it, but it will come up here automatically. And if it doesn't, you just click refresh up here. So if we double click on it, you can see the game is going to start compiling. This is normal. And then you can just make it larger as well. You can actually adjust the frame rate and size and stuff like that. But uh, in, in general, you only mess with that if the games don't run well. But as you can see here, it's going to compile. And uh, it always is compiling PPU modules and stuff on its first time boot. So this will take a little bit of time. Just let it do its thing. But luckily, the second time you boot it up, this is a really quick load. And there we go. You'll see in the bottom left, it says compiling shaders and PPU modules. That's normal. So don't worry about that. But there you go. 
There's third strike for you. And as you can see, getting into gameplay. It looks great. And obviously, I'm not the best at uh, Street Fighter 3. I hardly ever played it, but you can see it works. It works very well. You got the achievements and everything from this game. I really like that move. And yeah, you can see, at least I won the round, but the game runs beautifully. And also, when you want to quit out of a game, you just go back into this console here, and then you just click stop. And there you go. That's how the game stops itself. And yeah, that's that's the basic fundamentals of getting this emulator started. You know, you can, if you need to edit some settings individually for games, you can right click and create a custom configuration and go through CPU, GPU, any kind of stuff. But I'll leave this to your devices. And the website itself offers a lot of great things as well. So it offers a lot of great advice on games and what uh, some people have found fixes for. But yeah, that's going to do it, guys. I appreciate you watching this. Be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, stay safe, stay positive, be yourselves, wash your hands, and bon voyage.